Good day, everybody. Welcome to Maui Karen Ann. Hope your life is smooth and wonderful and happy. I wanted to show you what I did the other day off camera. It was a new technique. I didn't know how long it would take. And so that's why I did it that way. First of all, I painted up here with a paintbrush, just this uh, peachy coral color, and I put a little white here and there to kind of make it look messy. Then I took my colors that are in a tube, which most of them are Artist Loft. I dabbed them on a paper plate, and then I took a, a paint palette and would scoop up a color off of the uh, plate, the paper plate, and then I just would put it wherever I wanted it. So I kept doing that with all these colors. You can see I've got blue, red, turquoise, purple, yellow, white. So I just continued to do that. Then I took a very small, like four ounce bottle of water in a spray, which I don't have in front of me. And I just sprayed water on the colors. And the more you spray, then the wetter the that's the big one. No, I don't, not that one, the small little one. So, um, anyway, the colors then start to run. And as it runs, then you can spray a little bit more to spread them out. So I let it dry. I think it turned out really good for my first one. So I'm going to try this again on a larger canvas and maybe then I will do it on camera to show you how it's done. But I thought it turned out really pretty. It's different. I'm gonna spray varnish it and then it'll be on Etsy for sale. Okay? So today we're doing something really new and different. I've seen a couple of people do this. It's bubble wrap. And I have put seven different colors on it, and I've zigzagged it up and down like this, and then again up and down like this. So I've got a 12 by 12. Shit. That last one didn't go. My last painting didn't go? Nope. Tony. I know. What can you do? You didn't have it pressed? Well, it's pressed now. <laughs> Mr. Bill. That's okay. They didn't see the blind spot. <laughs> okay, so I pressed a second one, and this is how it turned out, like this. So now I'm pressing number three. Okay, and this is the end. I'm not going to do any more than three because I'm getting low on paint, and that's the way it is. Is that Walter Cronkite used to say something about that's the way it is, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, I'm so excited about this technique, how fun this is. And you never know what colors you're going to get. There's plenty of paint. I can feel it right here in the center. Okay. Are we getting ready to rumble? Let's get ready to rumble. How'd we do? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. That's perfect. I love it. Love it. Love it. So I got three off of this. And... I'll be doing resin on these because that will really, really bring the colors up. Now what I need to do, very carefully, okay, this is the first one I did. So what you have to do is you have to very carefully put the edges in and press down. How did it turn out? Good. So you have your edges covered. Is it covered, Tony? Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. You got a couple of bald spots there. I have a couple of bald spots. I will try to fix them off camera. I've got cells. I didn't expect to get cells. Woohoo! Maybe if I do this kind of that way, I get everything that time. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Okay, everybody. I hope all is well in your life. Remember, be happy, be kind, and whatever you do, enjoy your day. Aloha.